Hey, this is Steve Domenico here live at CES 54 weigh-ins with Jesse the Widowmaker, <laughs> Neely fighting Kylie O'Hearn tomorrow afternoon at CES 54 in a woman's featherweight match. You just weighed in. How you feeling, Jesse? I feel great. This was a great way, uh, weight cut, everything for me. Uh, it's been a while, so <laughs> I'm really, I feel, feel really good. Excellent. Well, you got to see Kylie. Um, how how are you thinking about this fight? I know you've been off for some time. Kylie's been kind of busy, very young, kind of the new girl in New England that you know people have been focusing on. But you're back, and uh, you know we got the number one number one women's here pound for pound in New England. How's it feel to be back and fighting someone that New England you know is really high on? Uh, no, I'm really happy. You know, I've never I never necessarily left, just left the cage. I've just been training my ass off, uh, you know, tried to get a couple of fights going and a bunch of stuff kind of fell through, did the Ultimate Fighter tryouts, so that was really a great experience. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely back, uh, happy that she stepped up to take the fight. I know her last fight, I think it was at like 125, so we both went in at 144, so ready to go. <laughs> Excellent. So you took a, you know, you've been staying busy training in that time off. Um, who you been training with? Who's been really preparing you for, you know, this fight back? Yeah, I mean, I train at Underdog MMA with the guys down there, and there's a lot of smaller guys or my size guys um, that help me out and that work well with me for a lot of the MMA uh, specific stuff. But I also do tons of other stuff down there uh, with Russell and Matt Bissett, and they help me out over there a lot. Um, I also train at the IMBCT with Chris Smith, and the guys over there are great too. A lot of them have been doing some sparring with me and working with me, me with a lot of my, my game. Um, uh, I go down to core when I can over in Danbury, so I'm all over the place. <laughs> They've uh, been lifting a lot this past two years as well over down in uh, Wallingford at Triton. Excellent. So, so you've been getting it in. <laughs> you've been keeping busy. You've been, you oh, know, yeah. you yep. know, staying in that fight already shape. Yeah. So here we are. You know, tomorrow, big deal. It's going to be a fight pass, first time ever. Uh, you're a veteran at this. You, you hold the, you hold the reality uh, fighting belt. Uh, you've been fighting in front of, you know, big crowds basically your whole career. Is anything different tomorrow being on, uh, you know, that fight pass? No, I mean, uh, for me, I've fought in Canada, i fought in uh, California, I've had an experience uh, everywhere, but I think more, uh, most of the time I never really get, I'm, I'm, I'm usually the person, my, jo my day job is behind the camera, <laughs> so I do video production, and uh, I never really get the great videos of myself, and it's hard to find videos of myself doing great, so it's going to be a great fight where I can actually watch now after <laughs> so I'm happy about that and I can show the world what I can do and people can't say well I didn't see it or you haven't been fighting you're not active Ugh. so I'm happy about that <laughs> excellent yeah we want you know we want to see this footage we want to see you two uh, ladies go at it because you know this this could have you know the potential to be the fight of the night here uh, the only woman on the card you and Kylie um, what do you see in this fight Kylie you know very good on the ground very, very aggressive on her feet. Uh, how do you see this uh, matching up between you two? Uh, there's, it, um, it's going to be great. I'm, nothing I haven't seen before. You know, I go in there, I spar every day, get, get pummeled by the set half the time. Just kidding, Matt. <laughs> no, it's cool. You know, these guys don't treat me like some little girl. They, they give me what, you know, what I, you know, what, what's necessary. So, and I'm, I've seen it all, you know. I'm sure people will say they're not going to kill you, but, you know, um, I'm, not, I'm not scared. I'm ready, ready to go. Excellent. So we have this fight tomorrow. You know, you had a couple of years you couldn't get a fight. You were doing, you know, other things, training along the way. This fight, after this fight tomorrow, you come out with your hand raised. What's what's 2019 going to store for Jesse? You're gonna you're gonna be staying around. You're gonna be wanting to fight and, and stay active. Always one day at a time. So focusing on the fight right now. Um, after that, just gonna continue to keep wanting to get in there. Next fight, ready to go. Gonna hopefully get that go up and running as soon as possible. So. Excellent. Wherever well, it is, I'm excited. <laughs> excellent. Glad to see you back, Jess. I yeah. mean, we can't wait for this scrap tomorrow. Psyched. Um, last thing, shout outs, because, you know, I'm sure you get a lot of people backing you, some sponsors and all that good stuff. Yeah, um, just in general, Black Market Kitchen, they've been helping me out. Um, Timeless CBD, they've actually been helping me out a lot with some of the, the stuff for muscle soreness and all tons of great stuff they've got going on. Um, my just personal friends, like from... Uh, uh, my friend Art, you know, helping me out with sponsorships, who uh, he's out of the <coughs> FSBC club over there, and uh, 
FBSC actually, <laughs> the Fat Bastards. <laughs> I could say it on your thing actually, so I'm trying to like, I don't know if I could say that. Whatever. You say whatever Those I Those guys are awesome. They've been really helping me out. They've always helped me out. Um, even, you know, my buddy Steve, my sister's fiance, he's part of that and his family, his dad, they're just great over there. Um, so then my parents, my sister, shout out to them for all the help with the weight cut, the water cut, the last couple uh, two days or so they've been there. My coaches, you know, my teammates, my boyfriend for putting up with me. Um, Triton Athletics, I'm excited. They've helped me so much with my strength and conditioning. Dustin, you know, I want to shout him out for always being that person I call like, hey, how's my nutrition? And always helping me just calm me, make sure I'm on the right page. Um, I don't know if I, for, I probably forgot other people, but honestly, like just Joel, everybody, man, just thank you for having my back. Everybody, thank you for pushing me and helping me get here, so. Excellent. Well. Jess, you're back. We can't wait to see the scrap tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be a big deal, uh, and we can't wait for it. So we got Jesse, the Widowmaker, nearly here. Yep. Oh, don't forget Joe Forty. I love you guys. Thank you for the help, too. <laughs> there you go. She's got them all over. So we'll be seeing you tomorrow. Awesome, yep. CES 54. Yep. January 19th. Stop here at 2 p.m. tomorrow, and Jesse's yep. going to be here. <laughs> we'll see you later. Thanks cool. a lot, Jess. Thanks.